Hi, my name's Doug Spear. I run uh, and own uh, Tough Mama Fitness. We do a lot of primal and functional moves. Today we're going to do a variety of moves. We're going to be using ropes. We're on the sand. It's great for strengthening, lengthening the body, toning the body, and we do a plethora of exercises, which is our own body weight and knowing how to use the body in, in regards to movement and breath. I only do it once. Slow, girls. That's it. You're on film. You look great, girls. Hate to say it, you look sensational. No, always good. That's it, good. Skate the girl back, that's it. Breathe in as we move. Breathe out. Make the breath audible, girl, so we can hear it, so you know you're in rhythm. Good, good, Terry. That's it. Soft in our movement, girls. We do a lot of primal moves, functional moves, which is great for, we, we just use our own body weight. Okay, we, we're getting out of the mundane, mundane um, 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 routines. Where it's free flowing. We work on, uh, on a number of things. We, we want to be agile in our body. Okay, we want to be soft. We make it majestic in our move. We're looking at movement, movement patterns. But if you want to say the movement is of no movement. So we could be swinging, we could be pushing, we could be lifting, we could be running. We could be jogging, but all the moves that we do, we can start from the ground and work up and or vice versa. Roll the shoulder over, roll the hip like we did in our warm up girls. Nice, good Helen, nice movement, good. Again girls, get it with the breath. Keep your hips straight, Terry, hips straight. Hips straight, that's it, good. Okay, girls, let's come forward doing the scorpion. Like we're going in for a handstand. Lock those arms out. Take that leg back and hover up. Excellent there, Helen, Mel, and Terry. She went rolling over. Okay, then you girls jog back to the back, back of the line. Good, good, Julia. Nice, Julia. Sting the, sting the leg back and, and hover there. So we'll do our handstands now, girls. Yep. We'll do them on the rope. So you're gonna do the same move. Helen will go up and I'll and the partner will grab the legs. Okay. Again, lock out the arms, girls. Drop the scapula back. Push the hips in, push the hips up, push the toes up, and we'll hold for ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, down, and then I'll go. Okay, get a partner, spread out and rope, girls. Okay, girls, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. What? She's committed. I like commitment, girls. Yep, all on the side. Hold her, stay on the side. Or at the, fr the back, that's fine. Okay, 10, nine, eight, push through the rope, girls. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, girls, let's do the panther now. Watch these girls, their movement is nice and soft, okay. They stretch out, it's in unison, the hand, bilateral coordination. Good, they land together, Michelle, land together. With the foot in the hand, Michelle, land together. That's better. When we're doing all the movements, it's not about just, okay, okay my career's over at 30. We can still do this stuff at 30, 40, 50, 60. Some of my clients I have are in their 60s and they're moving nice, freely than what they were when they were 30. Perfect girls, come off to the side, excellent. Girls, so it's the opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Nice, Helen, that's it. Kick that leg back. Keep the hips straight. Okay, girls, rest. Okay, girls, we're gonna do the backward frog, backward frog now. So we'll watch Karen and Michelle. They'll push off their arms, take the hips back first, and then drag up. Go, girls, hips, drag the arms. They breathe in as they move. They threw the hips back. Good.
Okay, next girls fall in. Five more girls. Four, three, two, one. Good girls. Okay, girls. We're gonna do the spider now, so we're on our hands and our feet. Keep the hips up. Again, roll the shoulders back. This is great for the legs, great for the arms, and great for the tummy. Keep it, and we're gonna get moving. You will see the girls will use bilateral coordination to go back, so they'll move back slowly, girls. And they get it with the breath. So breathe in, girls, make it audible. Just see where the tension is and try and release the tension. Good. So you can do this one on the side, you can do it going back, you can do it going forward. The girls will come forward now. Good, they can head to the ocean. So again, I've got to get that. <laughs> Bit of a giggle there from Michelle. Head back to the car park. So opposites. Good, they can head back, 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 backwards. <laughs> nice. Okay, girls, let's fall in. So we'll go backwards, then we can just jog around. That's it, good. Feel where the tension is, girls, and be nice and loose in our shoulders. Next two girls. Make our movement majestic, girls. Soft, feel the connection with the sand. Mel, just try and relax there. Just Michelle and Karen coming in. We're just gonna do the unders and overs again, girls. So we're gonna be in the bug position. You're gonna take the leg under, punch through and over. Punch through, keep continuous movement. When we throw the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. So watching Michelle and Karen, they're in in the, the bug position. Either leg through, put it down, and under and over, that's it. Just stop for a sec, Karen. See when Michelle comes through, she pushes her hips forward, she squeezes her bum. So we've got that continuous movement, girls. So she's got the same side, opposite side, Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, grab a posse, girls. So we're in bug position, girls. Take a leg under, and then over, that's it. Punch the hips up, and we've got continuous movement. Continuous movement, girls. Try and flick the sand up into, your, into your, uh, the other girl's face. That's it, punch through. <laughs> There's a lot of sorries. A lot of sorries, good girls. We'll go into the bug, we'll do level threes. So level three, we jump back. Great plyometric workout. So let's start in, in the squatting position. Or just watch Karen and Michelle. Squat, squat girls, squat. They'll jump back, the legs come back, the hands and legs land together. Good, then up. And they go into the press, two. They go into the press, that's it, then back up. Go to the press, girls, ready? We'll go to a 10 count, one, two. Do the press, breathe out as we come down, three, four. Get that sponge-like effect, girls, five, six, seven. Breathe out as we go down, nine, 10. Good rest, stay in the squat position. Get your breath back. Okay, we'll do the level fours now, girls, when we go on the 90 degree angle. And back, and then we'll, we'll go the other side. One, two, three, four, Five, you should be back at the beginning. Come back up. We'll go the other way, girls, or anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Good, great plyometrics again, girls. That's right. 
we'll do it again. We'll do the starfish soon. Okay, Cat Michelle, stay there. Terry wants to do the starfish. She's very good at that. Girls, we're watching Kerry, uh, Terry here doing the starfish. Okay, she's very good at the starfish. She's got that movement down. Okay, we'll do the starfish in a moment. Okay, come back up. Let's do our squats, girls. Just 10. Keep the hands just above shoulders. And let's get that sink. And drop, roll the coccyx underneath. Ready? Let's do 10. One. That's it. Keep going. Two. Three. Roll the coccyx underneath. Four. So we take the pressure off the spine. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we're going to do the level three burpee going forward. Make sure we get the press. We'll go five forward, five back. Jazz hands, jazz hands, girls. Okay. One, two, keep coming forward. Three, excellent, girls. Four, five, good. Five breaths, relax the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one, back. One, two, three, four, five. Girls, let's put it in position in our squat. Put it in the crook of the elbow, girls. Again, feel there's no tension in the shoulders or neck. Okay. Let's just warm up our legs with 10 jumps. One, two, three. Again, be light. Remember, we want to be light. We want to be strong and agile in our movement. Good, feel where the tension is. Okay, good girls. Okay, let's face the ocean. Jump and face the ocean. In the squatting position, we're going to be jumping forward five times to me. Again, girls, breathe in as we move. Breathe out as we land. The premise we want, girls, we want to be light, we want to be strong and agile. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Good, relax, five breaths. This is great for the quads, girls. We're off in five, squatting position. We'll go the other way, we'll head back to the surf club. One, two, three, Four, five. Girls, just watching again. Let's be light. We're going to do five forward. One, two, three, four, five. Down squatting. Julia, face me. That's it. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Relax. Relax, girls. Good. Okay, so girls, we're in a downward dog position. We'll lock the arms, obviously just have a slight bend. And again, we're getting that bilateral coordination. Push the heels down. You'll feel it in the hamstrings and the calf. Raise up through the hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Keep the movement slow. Great for stretching out the lower back, girls, the calves and the hamstrings. Good, 10 more. Keep the legs straight. Okay, girls, we're gonna twist, we're gonna do the crocodile. Again, we're getting that bilateral coordination. The knee hits and twist to the, the side that the knee is uh, bent, leg is bent, sorry. Stretch out. Stay as low as we can. Again, great for strengthen, uh, lengthening out the delts of also the upper back and the core. Bring in the core and twist. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay low. Twist to the side that the leg is bent. Okay. Getting your positions, girls. That's it, good. Nice and slow. Movement, twist, good. So this one, we twist the hips, girls. Stretch right out with the arm. Stretch right out with the arm. Squeeze the upper back. Twist, pull the core up, pull your belly button up to your spine. Okay, next girls fall in. 
Excellent. Breathe in as we move, breathe out as we land. Nice there, Mel. Next two girls fall in. Nice Mel and Rebecca. Long and low girls. This will make us nice and sleek. Girls, we're gonna do the tiger. It's sort of a new move for new girls, but again, it's about driving forward with the hips and having that intent. I'm on my forearms. My knees are off the ground. And as I raise, I come up to the pounce position. Then I land again. So I drive as I come up together, drive with the hips. Come into the pounce position. Protract, so squeezing the shoulder blades. Then claw on, but I'm off, off my knees. Come up. Come back down. Up. So it's great for the arms, great for the legs. I'm in the pouncing position. Okay. So as I come up, as I come up together, forearms and triceps, into the bounce, pounce position. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Head up, girls. And then as I come down, land together. Up. Judy's got a little bit of tiger in her, they reckon. Okay, Judy, face this way. She comes up, girls, raises, then she pounces. Good. Raises up, lands together. Comes up together, lands together. Perfect. About driving the hips, girls. Squeezing the shoulder blades. You'll feel it in the quads, girls. It will activate the quads. We're in ready position. Let's have a go. Great girls. Push up onto the forearms, come into the pouncing position, then pounce forward, landing on your forearms. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Breathe in as we move. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out as you, as you go for the kill there. As you pounce onto the prey. Good, come off your knees. Land on the forearms. Get that protraction, girls. Okay, girls, we're gonna do the, the spinning chimp. Again, throw the arms, so it's good, great for the tummy. Let the hips go. Take the hand, uh, legs past the hands, hands past the legs. Breathe in. Again, when we come down, girls, lock the arms in. Spin and land together, light. Let's have a go. Get in your lines. Girls, down in the squatting position. They're gonna put their hands towards the ocean and then they're gonna jump across and we stay low. Stay low on this one. This is the low level twisting chimp. Stay low. Stay low, girls, great work. Breathe in as you move. Okay, now we'll do the high level one. Relax. Up. Okay. High level chimp. Same, breathe in. Punch it up, nice. Just doing that 180. Try and hover in the air, girls. Hover, hover in the air. Hover in the air. Again, nice. Twist from the tummy. Punch the hips up, then extend the legs. Okay, girls, with the forward frog, this one. Again, we're just in the squatting position. Try and reach out as far as you can. But again, it's about using the arms, the hips, and the breath. Reach as far as we can, squeeze the shoulder blades. Lean, throw the hips forward. Bring the knees on the outside. Just. Okay, watching Karen and Michelle. Okay, girls, slow motion. See their movement, they don't stop. Keep moving, girls. They breathe in. They stretch as much as they can. Great, girls. Stay low. Breathe in as you move. Breathe out as you land. Great work there, Julia. Oh, grab your legs. I'll grab the legs. She's up. Good. Again, the same. Whoa. 
Oh, she's feeling good. She's going to push the hips in, push them up, raise the toes up and down. Good work, Helen. Whoa. Okay, girls, let's come in. You're going to, girls, you're going to feel the stabilizers come into play. Okay, up you go. Good, Terry. Nice posturing there, girls. Again, feel. Feel where he tended this. Good. Come down. Nice, Terry. That was. Oh, oh. Okay, good. Okay, what the girls are going to do, we're just going to have a bit of a free play with the animal moves. But the girls are going to follow Michelle. And again, it's just about single filing. And again, we'll just see with the Chinese whispers, see what the, if the, the first girl and the last girl are doing the same move. But again, all the moves are done slow and deliberate. But again, we're just looking for nice movement. We're working on the breath. Breathe in when we move. Breathe out when we land. And everything's nice and soft. We're, what we're working for is we're looking for agility. We're looking for movement, so it, it's majestic. We want to be light in our movement, but also all, overall, this makes us nice and strong with our skeletal system, with our muscular system, okay? So we'll watch Michelle. Okay, Michelle, okay, start. Let's see what Michelle, she has a play. Okay, so she's doing the low level chimp. Again, it's with the breath. Great for the legs, great for building up the arms, and also for activating the core. So she'll, she'll do, now she's moving into the panther. So again, it's a bit of a freestyle. We don't know what movement we're gonna do next. So with the panther, it's great for lengthening out the upper back. Again, pulling the core in. Great for toning up the legs. We're working that bilateral coordination. Okay, now she's coming into, she's coming into the elephant. So this again is great for the upper back. She pushes the hips up. She keeps the legs as straight as she can. Great for the calves, great for the hamstrings, and great for the lower back. Now what she's going into now, now she's just having a bit of a play with the monkey. Again, so she's nice and loose in her body. Shoulders, again, because we want that agility. And if you see all the girls' legs, they've got nice legs, they've got nice definition in their arms. And again, we go back to the primal moves the, from, well now, in today's time, we're sitting down a lot. Everyone's got sore backs. Everyone's got sore knees, necks. Okay, now she's doing the front. She's doing the front frog. Again, great for lengthening out the upper back. She's gone back to the elephant now. Again, so you can just have a free play. We normally do three, five, or seven, or nine minute rounds. Again, the movement is slow. It's harder than you think. The final move, the girls are very good at this. You don't have to, it's not too, it's not very complicated. Just lie flat on your back. Open up your legs, extend the arms, and relax. The girls are very good at this. They've just done an hour and a half workout of, of Tough Mama Extreme Fitness. Good time.